Yo, I go on. That guy. Not locks. Not nation. Yo. There's, um... There's too many dreads in the rap game right now to keep up with. I'm just watching a video I just posted on Lil Got It. First time listening to his music. And I see he does a song with Lil Baby who also has dreads now. And then I see in the next recommended videos, NLE Choppa who also has some dreads now. So today's video, we're talking about NLE Choppa and his dreadlocks. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is... So I'm here watching NLE Choppa's video, which, you know, he's put out recently, and these are the locks that, this is the video of forever, by the way. Uh, and I was just watching this video to see how it was looking, and the quality looks amazing. And it turns out that NLE Choppa actually has some freeform dreads underway. And you can really see how they're turning out here. They're high top. And the new growth isn't twisted down to the scalp or parted in any certain way. So this showing me that, you know, this hairstyle could have started from a dread sponge, then left to freeform. And I really hope that he does stick to this high top free form because they will turn out pretty good. Notice the tips are all very wispy and curly, meaning he hasn't used no crochet hook or anything to blunt the tips. And he is rocking his signature NLE Choppa initials right in his head there with his hairline that honestly kind of looks like it's been blackened a bit with some makeup or something. At this point, I feel like the dude should just get a tattooed on his head instead of using his hair to actually grow it in all the time. Um, this being the shot that did spark my interest for this video, just the high top that's going on here looks pretty sick. And I was surprised to see that Enelie Choppa actually had some freeform locks growing in at this point. So, this kind of hairstyle kind of reminds me of Sideshow Bob a little bit because when they will get when they do get longer, they will start to fall and plop over. And they kind of already are starting to flop over in terms of length. But some of them are standing straight on top, which is the baby dread awkward dread phase. And you can see here at the back of his head, this is the awkward phase where they are kind of dropping but standing up at the same time. Probably one of the best phases for dreadlocks because you get to experience both worlds and you're between you're between stages at this point as well. So we can see that his locks here actually looks like there's a little bit of congoing happening on the sides, hoping that these become some finger tip like dreads. And you can see here at the front of his dreads, they are falling down here once again. And the curl pattern of his hair, obviously he's a type four, but you can see how his curls are kind of like twisting at the end of his tips. Now this will progress further with cold water rinses. His hair type is actually perfect for free forming. You shouldn't have an issue. At this point, we just need to see some length happening to garnish these dreads. If I were to take a quick look at Emily Choppa on other platforms, we can see that his name is Bryson Potts, American rapper, based out of Memphis, Tennessee, best known for his 2019 breakout single, Shot of Flow. And he is born in 2002 at only 17 years old. And he has made a quick come up on the scene. I mean, this is him on his come up scene. You can see the front taper, the sides, and very beginning stages of his freeform journey right here. Um, shots like this really showing us that he is committed to the dreadlock game. Coming from a, a big afro like this, you can see how they've kind of condensed and, and formed up a bit now over time. Compared to when he had the video with Blueface, uh, his locks were a lot shorter at this point. Seeing his hair coming from a afro, 
high top afro. I'm actually quite glad that he's decided to lock his hair up. Using free forms more than anything. This photo here showing like, it's kind of like a Bantu knot. It could have been the original start of his locks, getting them knotted up one time here and letting them grow in from, from there on out. But even this is a pretty interesting look. And where his locks are now, definitely a great starting point for some epic high top freeform dreads. So I'm super excited to see where his journey is gonna lead us. So I mean, I do appreciate everybody watching this video. Just giving you a quick update on NLE Choppa's dreads himself. And I do look forward to seeing more dread growth out of his um, rap career. I'm like, I'm not even looking forward to his music. I'm looking forward to see how the hair turns out. And I love to see that nowadays, the younger rappers coming up, everybody has dreads because it shows that, you know, people are understanding that dreadlocks, lock life in general is nothing to be feared of or scared of and you should definitely just commit 100% with it and not care what people think about your hair or you when deciding to go on a journey like this because all in all, this is a journey within you. It doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. So just stick to your guns and stick to your roots and grow thick skin and keep those locks growing. This is Not Locks Not Nation. I'm signing off. Until next time, peace out, one love, stay happy and natty. And I'll see you guys in the next Dreadlock update. I'm gone. Adios. Yeah.